I don't know how to even respond to that. I don't think the Knicks need another defensive guy. I think they need someone who can actually put the ball in the hoop. Like some of these, like the Philly game, right? What other losses that would make sense to point out? Um, the Raptors, Raptors loss. Like the, we just, we don't have anyone that can put the ball in the hoop. Like Zach Levine's a guy who I know I can give the ball to. Dibs was right about wanting to give up RJ over Grimes. He's not athletic or crafty enough to be a top player in his position after four years in the league. He will be could be too predictable going left. Where did you get the info from? Yeah, I don't know. I actually... Yeah, that was a bad take being real. But honestly, I, I actually get the sense of quitting Grimes over RJ. I don't know. RJ could be so good in this league or he could not. It just depends on, I guess, how much he wants it. I would rather OG than getting Levine. Mm. Levine's clearly a better player, but I mean, OG does have that defense. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone's acting like the Knicks need defense. The Knicks don't need defense, bro. They were a top 10 defensive team last season. I don't know where they rank this year. Probably, I don't know if they're quite top 10, but I'm looking like OG and Anobi's not scoring like OG is just not doing what Zach Levine can do bro like and people are also like, this is one thing that people don't understand bro is that they look at they look at Zach Levine and they're like where's the defense well he's playing for coach tip so you're, you're telling me that you can't take Zach Levine when a guy with a what's Zach Levine's vertical I bet that's how I gotta be on Google and he's yeah okay Zach Levine is a 46 inch vertical Kobe had a what 40 inch vertical and I'm not, I'm not comparing him to Kobe, but I'm just saying that Zach Levine, with how athletic he is, we know he can score. The de what if the defense, what if he starts becoming a better defender, like he's locked in defensively? So now you have a guy who's defending, who's making it tough on both ends, and then offensively speaking, he can give you 30. Like Zach Levine can give you 20 to 30 every single night. So I can't change people's minds. This video wasn't, I, was, I didn't make this video to change anyone's mind. I made this video to just elaborate on my point, but I don't even, I, I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm gonna use clips in this for sure, but I, I just, I don't understand it. Like the Knicks haven't won a championship since 1973. My parents weren't alive. My, my parents were not alive, bro. Like, like how, like just keeping our picks. I don't, I just don't get it. Like, the Knicks have a chance right now to actually do something in the East. Brunson has been great. Randall's been great. RJ's going to come back. Quentin Grimes has been good. Let's let's actually make a move. Look at the Cavs. Like, the Cavs made a move for Donovan Mitchell, and now they, they legitimately can win the championship. Well, why can't we make a move for Zach Levine? Because he's not. He's on a big contract, and he doesn't play defense. Things are going to change when he's in New York, and he has around a lot, a lot of help. So, I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts on it, but... This, I don't know, this might be the last lean video I make unless there's another update, but...